In other news from India, the central bank of the country has confirmed that the deputy governor, Viral Acharya, has resigned from his post. The Reserve Bank of India said in a statement that Acharya quit the position a few weeks ago, citing personal reasons. Acharya's resignation comes six months before the end of his term. This is the second top-level exit after the RBI governor, Urjit Patel, left the post in December last year after serious differences with the government over the issue of the central bank's independence. Deputy Governor Acharya is also a professor of economics and reports say that he is returning to New York University's Stern School of Business in August to teach the subject. Last year, Acharya had said that more needed to be done to ensure effective independence of the Reserve Bank of India after officials in the Narendra Modi government asked the RBI to relax its lending restrictions for some banks. Acharya was appointed as one of the four directors of India's Central Bank in the year 2016. The NYU professor was also the youngest to become a deputy governor of the RBI after liberalization. Twenty years ago, on uh, July 26, the Indian Army recaptured all the posts occupied by the Pakistani Army in Kargil. Commemorating 20 years of the Kargil War, the Indian Air Force has organized various activities at the Gwalior Air Base. The Indian Air Force symbolically recreated the historic Tiger Hill attack in the Dras Kargil area using the Mirage 2000 aircraft. Explosives were shown blowing up on a model hill to enact events of the war. The Mirage 2000 had played a very crucial role in the battle, helping the army target bunkers on Tiger Hill. The 1999 war, which took place in the Kargil district of Jammu and Kashmir, saw the display of exceptional valor and tactical genius by the Indian armed forces. The event saw Air Chief Marshal B.S. Dhanoa as the chief guest, with several gallantry award winners, both serving and retired, who had participated in Op Vijay. The dramatic enactment of some of these milestones of the war were also seen. Five Mirage 2000s, two MiG-21s and one Sukhoi 30 MKI were on static display at the base. One of the Mirage 2000s showcased the spice bomb carrier which was used in the recent Balakot airstrike in February. The activities at the Gwalia Air Base are a part of the build-up to the main event. The celebrations in the national capital will begin on 14 July with the illumination of a victory flame from the National War Memorial. The victory flame will travel through 11 towns before being merged with the eternal flame at the Kargil War Memorial in Dras. The anniversary celebrations for this year will be spread over three days from July 25th to 27th. The country marks two decades since the Indian Army's Operation Vijay and the Indian Air Force's Operation Safed Sagar. The Kargil War has always been remembered in Indian history as the last war that India fought. But the victory came at a high price. As many as 527 Indian defense personnel died during the war. The celebrations pay homage to these valiant soldiers as Kargil Vijay Divas draws close.